Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time stopping by, my name's Heather. Today I have a subscription unboxing for you guys. I haven't had a subscription unboxing in forever. I know it's been such a long time and I know you guys have wanted me to do that. I've had comments asking me to do them and I apologize, but yeah, it just did not fit in my budget at the time. But today we have a Walt Life box. I was actually sent a coupon from Mickey's Mystery Box and sadly due to the quarantine they had to go out of business and they were offering their customers a coupon um, for Walt Life. And by using that coupon not only do you support the business of Walt Life but a portion of that goes to Mickey's Mystery Box. So of course I wanted to help out and the box that I chose was the $79 box and I ended up getting it 30% off. That was the coupon code was 30% off. And this is the first time I have seen this box up close and it is so adorable. So you have the Walt Life logo over here, special delivery, delivery, yeah, delivery. And then it's got a nod to Beauty and the Beast here. And on this side, there is a nod to Ratatouille over here, which thank you. And then there is a nod to Milan on this side with honor. And then Princess and the Frog on this side, you have Naveen's hat. I thought this was such a cool box. I love packaging to be pretty and I love that this looks like a little treasure box. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what is on top. So on the inside, oh, there's Enchanted Rita on the inside. So inside, whoops, you can see. You can see Miss Enchanted Rita on the inside there. So live your Disney story, share your Walt Life adventure with us on facebook.com slash Walt Life and enter to win an awesome prize. Um, and then there's like all these little quotes everywhere. My oh my, what a wonderful day. Oh boy, this is gonna be good, I can tell. Are you the one I've been looking for all of my life? you'll be in my heart always and be kind have courage and always believe in a little magic those are such nice touches and then up here above the ladies it says snap a picture of your box post it on facebook or instagram and we'll contact random winners so anytime that you get a box you just take a picture and post it and you could possibly win what i don't know but I'm all for winning something. So I have a, a nice little welcome letter here. Welcome to the Walt Life family. You just joined an exclusive Disney fan club that is here to send you all the Disney fun that you'll ever need. We're so excited to curate special boxes every month filled with officially licensed Disney and Disney park goodies that are specially chosen with you in mind. We're excited to create your happily ever after. Get ready to love your box as much as we loved making it for you. We would love to hear about your Walt Life journey. Feel free to leave us a review via the Facebook page or waltlife.com. Now, going into this box, they had already sent me an email saying that with the quarantine and the parks being closed, that there will not be, more than likely will not be any theme park, theme park items in here. Um, some of them might just be Disney licensed. So if you're gonna order a box right now, definitely keep that in mind and give a little space of grace where everything is concerned because they are still trying to do the best that they can with what they can get their hands on. And I completely respect that. So I'm going into this with a completely open mind and a space of grace for everyone right now. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna pull things out at random. I think there is one two, three, four, five, six items in this box. And the first one I am pulling out looks like a necklace. Oh, this is really cool. Okay, so this is a Disney Villains necklace. And I wanna say, oh, this is really cool. Is this Maleficent? Yes, it is. Okay, so it's like this potion bottle got purple glitter at the bottom look at that that is so glittery and there's a black crow in there and then there's a spinning wheel or a heart in there or something I can't really tell what that is let me get you a close-up of that if you can see the crow in there and then it has two more dangling charms on there this one says diabolically devious with a Disney logo on the back and then I think that's a crow as well I'm not sure and then there's this charm on there as well. 
trying to get this where you guys can see it. Can you see that little charm? I'm not sure exactly what it is, but two cute little charms on this. This is really cute. This would be really cute for a Disney bound for Maleficent. I'll have to keep that in mind. Okay, and the next item we are pulling out. Oh, let me let me go back by saying this. I wanted to get this box because I thought maybe there would be some cool items in it I could save for Michaela's birthday. All right, so the next item I'm pulling out is this package of Mickey Mouse jelly beans. We have purchased the Minnie Mouse ones before, but we've never picked up the Mickey pack before. And it does have red, yellow, and blue on the front, and it shows the various flavors on the back. And thinking back to the Minnie Mouse package that we got, I think they were all pink, like a glittery pink inside, if I'm not mistaken. So maybe these will be those three colors as well. But this is definitely something she will love. Moving on, the next item, I believe this is something she will love as well. And that disclaimer saying that it's possible you will not get any Disney Parks item. Well, apparently they had some on hand because this is a Disney Parks item. It is a pair of socks. So it is the unicorn from Inside Out. If you guys know me, I do not like unicorns at all, but I know a little girl who does. So these socks will be going to her. And like I said, I was really wanting this box to find some things for her for her birthday from the parks. And this one will work as well. So they are really, really long. They will look super cute with a pair of shorts and maybe like a cropped sweatshirt or something. I can totally see her wearing these and wearing them well. Me, not so much, but I think they are adorable and it was really nice to get a Disney Parks item in this box. The next item, oh, it's also a Disney Parks item. It has the red um, price tag on it and I don't know how much that is. I wanna say it's $10, but I haven't been there in so long I forget all of the price coding but this is a gorgeous gold Mickey head keychain and if you can see it's got some Mickey head shaped rhinestones inside the center of that all over it's so pretty I really like this one and this is so lightweight I will not feel bad about putting this on my keychain this is really really pretty and this is actually something I would buy from the parks myself Okay, it looks like we have a Disney pen. I want to say this is Thomas O'Malley. This is absolutely adorable. I wouldn't mind keeping this one, and it would actually make a really good treater. It's a hidden Mickey one. He is absolutely adorable. So that was a nice little addition to this box. Up next, we have two different art cards, and these are... Disney Beauty and the Beast 1991 Visual Development by Mel Shaw. Let me see if that is, oh, nope. This one is from Glenn Keane. I, I don't know how to say that last name. But the, whoa, that's a scary face. <laughs> so this one shows Beast basically with a baboon head and I am not liking that at all. Like, can you imagine? Can you imagine if this is the actual beast they ended up with? I am not liking that at all. I much rather have the beast we do have. But I do love these drawings, so this is really cute to have. And the next one kind of looks like Teen Wolf-ish. Um, I like this one a little bit better. I love the style of their clothes and everything in this one. That's also a neat one to have. Not too bad, visual development. I'm glad that they came a long way with the beast we all love. We also have a bookmark. It says, Bring Me That Horizon. It has like the pirate flags on there. I love bookmarks, so that's really cool. And on the back side, it says, Walt Life, an exclusive Disney fan club. Nice little addition. I don't know if these three items are considered in the value of the box, but it was a great little addition as well. So... I think we are down to the last two items in this box. And the next one, I know Michaela's gonna love. This is a Disney Funko Pop and it is the Luau Pumbaa. And he's got the tomato or apple, whatever that's supposed to be, I think it's an apple. He's got the apple in his mouth. It is hilarious. Let's take him out of the box. Even if I gift this to her, we're still out of the box collector. So 
if I tear the box, it's perfectly okay. Oh my goodness, he is such a nice size. So here's what he looks like up close. As you can see, he does have that apple in his mouth. This is hilarious and so cute. I think Michaela's really gonna like it. If she doesn't, we have a Funko Pop collection. It'll be perfectly fine going into ours as well because we do love Pumbaa, so this is really great. Thank you so much. We are down to the very last item. I do not have any mugs with this character on it, and I am freaking out. It is so pretty, and I cannot wait to make a cup of coffee in this mug. So on this side, it says the fairest of them all with a bluebird and a gorgeous red handle. And I love the size of that handle. I can get three fingers or four in there. That's really great. Um, some of those have really tiny, tiny handles and it's hard to get your hand in there and a nice grip. This has a really nice grip to it. So I really do like it. I like the way it's sculpted in a little bit. But guys, look at the other side. Look how pretty. It is a Snow White in the Seven Dwarves mug. I love that all of them are on there. So pretty. And it's got a gorgeous red inside as well. Let me get this out. Where is this from? And this mug is actually from Shop Disney. I didn't realize that until I was pulling the sticker out of it. I thought I'd seen it somewhere before, but I wasn't, I wasn't sure where I had seen it. But it is gorgeous. Um, gorgeous red interior it is so pretty i really like it that is it guys that is everything that is in this walt life box i am totally impressed with the items that were sent to me i know that is a very challenging time for everyone and i know that businesses like this are probably doing the best they can to get items out and still satisfy their customers and i'm not disappointed whatsoever i did skip the may box and i downsized for june because i would like to kind of get another one to see what else we could get for her so I do have one coming for June, and so that will probably upload at the end of June. But I'm really excited and I'm very impressed with this box. So let me know in the comments below what your favorite item is. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!